came to see the tower, God thought it's only going to lead people away from God, so he confused people's language. So as a, as the result, no one could understand each other speaking. They could do nothing without communication. This is a good example of when communication goes wrong. My name is Dan Kim from South Korea. What do you think is the word I heard the most when I talk with native speaker? What is your name, or where are you from, or how old are you, or how come you are so handsome? <laughs> <laughs> how come you are so irresistible? <laughs> the answer it could be true, but the fact is this word. Because they did not, they did not understand my speaking. They could not understand my speaking. Because there, there was a lack of communication between us. So, why communication? Why communication? So, communication is so important. So, this simple question has led me to be here in this place to address about <coughs> communication technology. So. It is too clear, communication is so significant for every single person in this world. For me, for you guys. So, how can I deliver my message to you? And how can you understand my speaking now? Because there is a communication between us. So, I want to bring your attention to the next stage, that is the history of communication. As your first step, What are these? You must know this one. This one is English alphabet A. English alphabet A. This one is Korean alphabet Q. This one is Chinese alphabet Jun. Although although these things have the perfectly different different shape and perfectly different sound, but the role, the purpose of these things are exactly the same. That is a communication. It is an important stage of communication technology. Before alphabet, there was only verbal communication. But our ancestors wanted to communicate to us. They wanted to record their history. Due to the advent of alphabet, now we can learn history. Now we can get many lessons from the past. As your next step, this naked guy was a human messenger in ancient Greece. This guy had to run, run, run for 42 kilometers without any break. Why? To convey one great news, which was the victory of Greece. It was the only way to convey this great news, so he had to run. Although you may think of this as primitive mode of communication, still now we are using human messenger when we don't have proper communication tool. Next one is human used well-trained pigeon messengers. Next, we use the torch, but the, this torch only can convey very simple information. Due to that reason, we don't use torch anymore. This is newspaper. It was the fastest way to get a, to get the latest news. It was the fastest fastest way before the advent of the internet, before the advent of social media. Of course, these these two things are now the fastest way to get information. Anyway, newspaper is just one way communication. Just it is not two way. It is not two way communication. Due to that reason, it hasn't improved a lot compared to when newspaper came out first.
Let me play some audio file. Do you know what is this sound? This is the sound of great piece of communication technology. Right, this is telephone sound. Telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell in early 19th centuries. At the time, in the early 19th centuries, no one anticipated, no one foresee this great invention, this great invention is going to happen. No one foresee. But as it turns out, as it turns out, Bell invented telephone. As it turns out, it profoundly changed our way of communication. It is, it is a significant breakthrough of communication technology. Why? Before telephone, there is only one way of communication. I'm a human messenger. To deliver some message, I have, I have to go like, like this. And then when I get a response, I have to go back like this. This is only one-way communication, not two-way communication. But since the advent of telephone, when I call someone, I can get a response immediately. It is real communication. It is in real-time communication. There is, a, there is a reason why telephone is one of the biggest breaks to, through of communication technology. There are two biggest breakthroughs of communication technology. One is telephone. I'm going to address about the other one later. This is radio. Everyone's good recollection in our school life. This is TV. So when it, when it comes to radio, it can only deliver hearing information. But, it, but when it comes to television, we can we can deliver visual visual information as well. So although it looks like it's, it looks like indirect advertisement of Samsung, it is. I like Samsung. I love Samsung <laughs> because I'm Korean. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think this guy is doing? What do you think he is doing? What factor makes them so concentrated on something? These guys are connecting to the world. I would like to talk about internet. All, all of us know internet is so great. Internet is so great. Why? Why internet is so great? In terms of information, due to advent of internet, we can access we, we can access to we can access to the sea of information. We can access to the sea of information. In terms in terms of communication, in, in terms of communication, we could improve the scope scope of communication. It is not just one on one communication anymore. It could be one on one hundred communication. It could be one on one million communication. So, till, till now, I've introduced about the history of the communication. <coughs> so, just for 150 years, just for 150 years, communication technology has improved dramatically. Let me show you some graph. The development of communication technology is similar to exponential acceleration. Although it had been a long time till advent of telephone, till advent of internet, it had been a long time. But just for just for 150 years, we tele communication technology has improved dram dramatically, tremendously. So this graph seems like. There is some clear flow, there is some clear, clear rule of development. So, what is this rule? So I think this rule is... I think this rule is... Inter this rule, this rule is interaction. Communication technology has, has developed to improve our, our interaction. 
how can we interact well? How can we interact better than now? Based on this thinking, our communication technology has developed. So, it is too obvious. So, in, it is too obvious communication technology will develop amazingly. In terms of in terms of time, in terms of time, in terms of in terms of scope, it is going to be faster and faster. It is going to be broader and broader. So probably in the future, everyone everyone can share their information to every single person in the world. So in this case, if seven billion people want wants to share their their information to everyone, so what's going to happen? We have to handle seven billion information every single day. Do you want to see what's going to happen in that situation? It's going to be like this. This person is you. You are just just hiding under the table, and these people are information you have to handle. They are just information. They don't have intelligence. They don't know what should they do. So, what should we do to prevent these chaos? What is the wise way of development? customized interaction. I think our communication technology is going to be perfectly customized interaction. So, under the perfectly customized interaction, every information we every information you will get is perfectly completely filtered according to your preference, according to your personal taste. So, when you turn on the computer at the moment, you will get every essential information, only juice of information, not unnecessary information. So, in fact, Google, Google, a spearhead of IT field, is collecting customers' information. Don't look at this girl too much. <laughs> Why do you think they do now? As a spearhead, they know exactly what's going to happen next. So they predict accurately the personal preference, personal preference, customers' information is going to be the most precious property of their company. That's why they are collecting customers' information. Don't look at this for two minutes. <laughs> you have money. Right? <laughs> look at this picture. Every single person in this room have different, different characteristic different preference. I like blue, you like green, you like pink, you like you like yellow. What color do you like? Do you like Andrew? You might you might like black. You know, <laughs> black. Okay. So, like this, everyone has completely different completely different preference. So there is the there is the reason why customizing is inevitable change. It's going to happen. It's not just on my own perspective. It's going to happen. Because everyone has everyone has different perspective. We cannot we cannot be uniform as one time. So to make uh, to 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 do perfectly customized interaction we need to make our own filter, our our own unique filter. So let me show you the process. These these things are my uh, pieces of my interest. So, for instance, I like football, especially Manchester United. I want to get information the training schedule of Manchester United. I can add. I want to get information about about playing ball in Manchester. I can do. I'd like I'd like to get information about health, especially about vitamin D. I can do. When you make your filter, you can you can be 
You can be as specific as possible. It is your own unique filter. And then, what do you, what do you want to add else? If, if I am a big fan of Justin Bieber, <laughs> if I am a big fan of Justin Bieber, I can get Justin Bieber's favorite, favorite socks. Favorite socks or favorite underwear. I can get this kind of information. And then even I can be filtered people. If I don't want, don't want to get Joe's email, I don't, I don't want to get Joe's email anymore. The only email he sends me is a related to assignment or vocabulary we have to memorize. No, I don't want to get any <laughs> You can do like this. This is our own unique filter. Our own unique filter. Of course, when, whenever you want, you want to edit your filter, or whenever you want to erase one of your interests, you can do it like this. It is your own unique filter. So, it is a, it is a sort of puzzle. Using your filter, using your filter, you can get your perfect, complete puzzle, very well organized puzzle. It's going to be like this. It might be different from what you expect. You might expect this thing or this kind of normal, very standard puzzle. But as I mentioned, it is your own unique filter. You don't have to follow stereotype. You don't have to follow the trend. You are going to be the owner of your filter. Look at this picture. How fabulous it is, how fascinating it is. It is your own filter. So, the trend of communication has, has been decided by mass media, has been decided by big corporation, but in the future, it's going to take over to individuals. It's going to take over to us. You are going to create your own way of communication. You are going to design your own fabulous way of communication. It is my perspective about the future communication. So, from now, so far, so far you have traveled for 20 minutes about communication technology. It, it was a long trip from the history of communication to now communication technology to the future of communication technology. What do you think? Do you feel the vitality of communication? Can you feel my excitement about my perspective? Let me tell you a great quotation about communication. Peter Drucker said, the most important thing in communication is to hear what isn't being said. To hear what isn't being said. Are you ready to hear? Are you ready to get the thing what isn't being said? If you are ready, you are going to be the first person who experiences your own fabulous way of communication. Enjoy your new way of communication. Thank you. Okay. All right, Andrew. Okay. Thank you. Uh, great. Thank you. Uh, good ending. Good message. Good. Good final message. Good statement. Good way to conclude. I like the way you started right on message, really kind of serious, um, that's really good. And uh, this sort of different dimension, having something to write on, brings something you know a little different rather than just the images, which is really nice. Um, and your, your whole sort of performance is really kind of physical, moving around the stage and good hand gestures and that sort of thing, that's, that's really good. And uh, your... Um, like everybody today, I think you're, you know, it, it seems so fluent. I mean, I don't know how much it's uh, memorized, but it, it seems like you're just, you know what you're talking about, that's great. Your choice of words are um, accurate, especially exponential acceleration. So, um, yeah. So, good choice of, kind of exact choice of words. Um, right. Okay. And uh, yeah, and, and your sort of change of, you know, shift of, of position when you're speaking, but, um, you know, pointing at the screen and saying, 
uh, it might be different from what you expect. You know, that sort of thing. Because um, it's very good. So thank you. I think you have excellent communication. <laughs> As a uh, communication technology and semiconductor studier. It says here that you're a sales engineer. No, not yet. I'm going to be saying it. No. Joe said that I, I have to write that. <laughs> Otherwise, they, they, they are not going to trust me. <laughs> I think your presentation was hilarious. You had great clarity in your communication. You were very organized. I thought it was a very structured and well put together presentation. Um, after explaining several parts of it, you would go back and say, we covered this, covered this, covered that, uh, which helped keep all of us on track. And I, and I thought that was great. Um, clear structure of message. There was a, there was a very goal-focused and goal-oriented presentation here. You had, a, you had a definitive point that you wanted to make, and I think you made that quite clearly, um, that sooner or later, we're all going to be filtering out things that we don't like, Joe. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was quite impressive, your use of the advanced vocabulary as well. Acceleration, man. Exponential acceleration. And, and your pop culture references were very much so on point. If only I knew Justin Bieber's underwear color, I too could be a happy man. Um, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.